Welcome back to the Nikki Clark Radio Show on We Are Hotline, and uh, we have another uh, transformational story uh, to share with you. Uh, the show is about transforming lives one story at a time, and everyone has um, a chock full of information, a wealth of information uh, to help uplift, inform, and to transform. And uh, we have a, a powerful um, entrepreneur. She is a um, motivational speaker, and she's an author. Um, I'm going to ask you to please welcome the amazing Lori K. Grant on the line. How are you doing today, Lori? I'm doing absolutely wonderful, and how are you, Nikki? I'm very good. Thank you for asking. Well, I'm, I'm glad that uh, you have the time for us today. And, um, you know, people who want, listen to the show, uh, they, they, they want to come uh, to listen to to stories that can uh, get them unstuck in, in whatever area of their life and, and to move forward and to be um, uh, inspired. So I, I know that you've done quite a bit in, in your um, business journey and, and also in your personal life. So let's talk a little bit about uh, your background. Um, what what have you done in your previous years that have brought you to where you are today? Well, just briefly, I used to work in the film, video, and uh, entertainment industry. And my last company went under when video died. And I went mm. to the government and I said, hmm, what can I do? And they sent me into something called Women into Trades and Technology. And I ended up with a degree in control systems. And I landed at EDS right as electronic commerce was starting in 1994. And I started to work as a business analyst on electronic commerce transactional solutions. And fast forward a few years, I went back to school, got a second degree in information technology with a minor in technical and professional writing and worked for various banks and the Ontario government and on a lot of large-scale global projects. And then I finally landed at IBM. And in 2013, IBM had a new CEO. And as we're quite familiar with this, when you get a new leader at the top, they like to reorganize. And so they decided Mm -hmm. that myself, along with 10,000 other people, were redundant. Mm -hmm. So I was left with, what do I do next? And I decided Mm -hmm. to do a couple of contracts, and I opened a corporation, and I discovered I really didn't like being a contractor. And then I was sitting there with this corporation. What am I going to do with it? So I've been on this journey for the last two or three years trying to figure out how am I going to rebrand my consulting business. And that's how the book was born. Excellent. Okay, so here's the exciting part of uh, a release of all the experience that you've had. You, you created a book. So tell us the title and a little bit about its contents. Okay, my book is called Create Calm from Chaos, Seven Steps to Maximize Power, Performance, and Profits. And it's a book about how to organize and structure your business foundation so that it's solid so that when the winds of change come along, you're not being washed out to sea. Um, We Mm -hmm. all need to have structure and systems and processes in place. And a lot of smaller businesses um, are so busy focusing on the clients and their business idea that they don't either understand or know or have the time to put in that solid foundation. So my book is a primer on things from how do you manage change, how do you manage time, which is really managing yourself, managing your data or information, projects, your clients, your employees, the vendors that you work with, and other things like where can you find money to support your business. There's various Mm -hmm. ways of, of getting different funding to help you along the way. Where can you find education to learn the things that you need to know? And then finally, at the very end of the book, I talk about how do you put the framework together so that you know your workflow, what does your team look like, um, do you have standard operating pr- processes in place, etc. So it's, it's really a primer on how to lay the foundation for a solid business. Fantastic. Now, from, from what you have um, just shared with us, what would you say is the biggest stumbling block for um, business owners? Um, 
I think that depending upon where you're at in your journey, there's always a lot of things that you need to learn and know. And you need to have good people advising you. Um, and you need to be able to delegate. Mm-hmm. You can't do it all yourself. No. no. So true. You know, when people talk about being self-employed, the, the, the successful self-employed person really understands you need a team around you. <laughs> there isn't much self in, in, in order, you know, to be successful. You have to have people, like you said, to, to delegate different assignments to uh, in order for the business to flourish. And exactly. uh, and I learned that lesson um, early. I, I was burnt out the last, uh, I would say, the, f- the first four or five years. And I, was, I, w- I couldn't get it. Like, why is this so overwhelming? Why am I stuck in, in this? Why is it not moving the way it should? And then someone said to me, well, you need to hire people. You need to delegate. And you need to let go and trust that, you know, this baby that you've birthed, that they're going to care for it just as much as you. Uh, and, and once I, I understood that, then I, I really saw um, some incredible changes in the company. So I think that's a very important uh, lesson that you're sharing in your book. Well, thank you. Now, do you think women uh, business owners have a particular challenge I think women have a couple of particular challenges in that um, women are not like men in the way that they their brains function. Men are able to compartmentalize things much easier so that they can become very focused on a specific task. Women tend to carry everything all at once, and so I think it's harder for them to get focused and directed on what they need to do Women have a tendency to not manage money as well. Uh, not all women, but there are. I've seen a lot. They're not as organized. Structure and 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 systems aren't necessarily their strong suit. Women are really mm-hmm. good at building relationships. Yes. Women are about process and flow. Um, I quite frankly, I think that our business should go to a, a mixture of both male and female energies to have balance because right now I think we're out of balance and we need to have both the process and the result driven to, to move things forward. Men are really good at asking for the sale, asking for the money. Women are not, but women are better at building the relationship that leads to the sale. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, absolutely, creating the rapport. Now, how has your life been transformed by doing what you do? Um, oh, amazingly, because now instead of doing, you know, one part of an organization's work, I'm now at the top and having to, you know, be the conductor that directs the orchestra. And it's um, done amazing wonders for my self-confidence, and I'm learning and growing, and there's new challenges all the time. Um, so it's given me a really big new lease on life. Absolutely, I would I would say, and and you you have a family. I have I have a son that's 22 in university. Okay, and and how does he feel about? how you know you've transformed how you've evolved over the years um i think i've been an excellent role model for my son um mm-hmm. because he he we have a, a saying in our household problems are only solutions looking to be found some just take longer than others and so he's not a quitter no matter how tough life is and he's had some challenges and he's overcome them and he's managed to get into university and even though it will take him longer to complete it he still keeps at it and doesn't quit so i'm 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 proud of him and i think i was a good role model absolutely absolutely now um I'm sure uh, the listeners are, are looking forward to getting the information on how to purchase your book. So where can they purchase it and where can they follow you on social media? Okay. I'm just about to 
The book was originally published in October under a slightly different subtitle, and I'm about to pull it from Amazon because I am rebranding the cover slightly with some color changes in the new subtitle. It'll be back up in Amazon probably by the end of April in time mm-hmm. for Raymond Aaron's Create Your Own Economy in Toronto with Jack Canfield, um, and I'll have the book there, um, and it will be on Amazon. I have my own personal website, which is lauriekgrant.com, And there will be a website for the book called Create Calm from Chaos, but all of that's being built as we speak. I am on LinkedIn, I'm on Facebook, and I'm on Twitter. And I would really appreciate, you know, being able to help anybody who thinks that I'm uh, capable of helping them. Well, you absolutely are, and and you, like a... I mentioned earlier, you have a wealth of experience, and uh, you just um, you you resonate well with people. People can connect with your story, and you come from a place of authenticity in in offering um, business advice. So we really appreciate that. So you've well, been listening you. to you're welcome. You've been listening to Lori uh, K. Grant, um, you know, businesswoman extraordinaire. Uh, she's got uh, great information to offer you in her um, latest release. Her book uh, from Calm, so from Creating Calm to, uh, can you just repeat the title? I'm sorry. Create Calm from Chaos, Seven right. Steps to Maximize Power, Performance, and Profits. There you go. Thank you so much, Lori, for that. Uh, and, and I know that you're going to really, really uh, benefit from the book. Um, so please, please uh, follow Lori K. Grant on her social media uh, outlets. Uh, she's accessible everywhere. And if you missed the earlier part of the interview, uh, we're going to be replaying the interview throughout the week, Monday to Friday, from 11 a.m. to noon on We Are Hotline. So we just want to thank Lori K. Grant one more time. Uh, you've been uh, very helpful, and we appreciate what you're doing. And we look forward to having you live on the Nikki Clark Show uh, in front of a live audience. So thank you again, and have a wonderful day. Thank you. You too. Enjoy. Thank you. Bye-bye now.